guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. I am on the countdown to trying to get to 100K, so it would mean the world to me, as I know so many of you watch my videos, but you're actually not subscribed, so please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and signing up for the bell so that you don't miss any of my videos because I've got so many amazing videos coming up for you in the next few weeks that you do not want to miss. So today's video is a H&M haul and when I say a H&M haul, I have gone to town. I'm not joking, when I'm supposed to, literally, it is so big. There is so much stuff in here. It weighs an actual ton. I'm just excited though because I've gone mad. This autumn I'm just so excited because I feel like I'm summered out that I've literally spent an absolute fortune at H&M. So we're going to try on all these bits together and see what we are going to keep and send back. I just want to make things right. So the first items I've got to show you all have stripes on and I am a bit stripe mad. I've also done a Zara order so Zara haul will be coming next week and i've ordered more stripes there like i just can't get enough of stripes though so. <laughs> the first one i have got to show you is this one in the stripe which is like an oversized style jumper this one i've got in a large i have actually ordered one very similar like i said from zara um, and i did actually see it in store the zara one and i feel like the zara one's just ever so slightly better quality but for the price h&m cannot be beaten so I'm excited to try that one on with some black leggings, Ugg boots. I really want to include my Ugg boots in this video because I love Uggs so much. But my beloved Max, my dog, decided to roll in fox poo. Went all over my Uggs that I was wearing and I'm just so upset because I love my mini Uggs so much. And I wanted to include them in this video, but I can't because they are currently in the bin. They were that bad. They stunk of fox poo. So blame Max for no Uggs in this video, but I will be doing an order of some new mini Uggs. So check that out on shorts on here or on reels and tiktok very soon when they arrive all the items that i share with you today are linked below in the description with the code and the link so if you wanted to shop any of these items head down there i just i feel like i probably could have done with the medium this is just giving me flashbacks of my mum in the 90s and i feel like you probably get like a vintage version of this for so cheap and I keep saying it, but I'm going to hold out because I've seen that Zara do another one and I feel like I want to compare. Maybe I'll do like a um, short or a reel on, maybe I'll do a short and a reel on TikTok where I compare this, the other one, to the Zara and H&M and we can compare and see which one we like the best because I don't know. I don't think it's very flattering, but there's just something about it, you know? I don't know whether I feel like, I just feel like this bit here just isn't a true crew like I feel like it needs to fit around your neck whereas it's kind of just a bit like losing its shape but again I don't know whether that's because I need to get the medium because it's quite oversized then the final stripe I have got is this one which is a bit out there for me because I'm not sure about this neckline we're gonna see what this looks like on but I love more when it's like a zip one. And again, Zara have released one. I've just ordered it, it looks amazing. Where it's a half zip up and down. But I have seen quite a few people in this one and it looks really nice. However, every single person I've seen in this has been a size six to eight. So we'll see what that looks like on me. But again, I'm gonna try that on with black leggings, I think for more of like a Sunday afternoon, Uggs on. And just like, I just made an effortless attempt to get ready but i just look so chic and nice but again we'll see how this looks on a size 12 to 40. yeah i feel like i like it but i hate it at the same time i think it's this whole drop sleeve thing that i have a real issue with which i spoke to you guys before about um and it's because if it was like this obviously with longer sleeves we'd be talking a bit more of a flattering just ignore that but because it's drop sleeve it's just giving me this like sack shape so i feel like this is a no i do like it though do you know what i mean i feel like it has potential but it's a no let me just try the zara one with the zip up and compare then while we are still on the topic of tops and jumpers this 
Oh, this one actually I'm wearing right now. I posted this on shorts on here and on Instagram and on TikTok and everybody went mad for this jumper. It's so nice. It's like a rib. Um, very thick for right now under these lights. I will say I'm very hot and it's got like a nice side split. So it looks really lovely with leggings. And again, like really casual. You can wear it with the New Balance trainers, boots, leggings, jeans. It's a really nice throw on jumper which looks really stylish but warm but perfect for outfit building and layering this autumn and they also have brought back this so i already have this i bought it last year it was in my h&m haul my h&m autumn haul last year but i love it so much that i need two so i bought another one for this haul and it is this rib this one has this gorgeous neckline and i styled it here with my gilet and leggings last year and everyone went mad for it because it's just so nice and i'm not joking i wore this to death i remember wearing it shopping in manchester with again a gilet over the top i've worked with camel co i've worn it with different colored gilets like a light gilet a black gilet i have wore it with jeans in a more dressy way with a blazer. It's just honestly such a versatile jumper and for the price, it's amazing. I love it so much. I got this one in a size large. I won't try this on because I've already shown you what it looks like on that little clip there, but I cannot tell you how amazing this is from H&M. If you're gonna buy anything today, this is a stove pull to get out every single year. It is amazing. It's so gorgeous. It's in this like really gorgeous oatmeal color that goes with so many different things buy it because it's so good and you will thank me honestly the piece of my autumn wardrobe last year honestly it brought everything together it's amazing so buy it before i try on turn the next top i forgot to show you this which is this cute oversized cardigan i did style it here with the elr style t-shirt and leggings and I just love this. I feel like this is so nice to just like in winter have either covered like this and like comfy boots or open and have it like I've got here. And I just think it's just cute to have with different looks to put on. Going to the hairdressers or going to get your nails done, weekend errands. It's just cute. Then I saw this one, which is a little bit of a similar style but it's a bit more dressy so i'm imagining this with leather trousers so it has this like cup detail here and then the sleeves are like a bit more of a bell sleeve they're kind of a bit wider so very similar to this but i think a bit more exaggerated so i thought do you know what because i loved the other one so much i wanted to try this and see how it fits and how it would work as a bit more of a formal look so obviously that one is just a bit more of a casual goes with everything whatever the occasion of autumn whereas this one i feel is a bit more dressy going for drinks going for dinner but you still want to be like quite cute and autumnal or maybe you go shopping and then you think oh we're gonna go for drinks afterwards then this might be really cute so i'm gonna try that one on for you now she is cute love the sleeves love the detail i'm wearing a bra with it the only thing is i feel like it just kind of like shows my tummy off here a little bit too much so it's like do you know i don't know whether it'd be different with a different clothing but i think it's just that the fabric is really clinging from the bra to here and you can't even like with the other one that i just showed you you can like really like move the fabric around whereas it just kind of looks a bit silly here and i do feel like it's very booby be revealing for me next i'm gonna throw in a wild card because i wasn't actually planning on including this in the haul because it was just for some um outfit ideas for instagram and tiktok but you guys love it and i wanted to be able to link it somewhere so you can find it and it is this chocolate puffer jacket so i styled it here with my ELR style t-shirt bodysuit which is due to come back into stock anytime soon it sold out within two hours when we launched it which was mad so thank you so much if you got one um and i've teamed it up with these gymshark leggings and this over the top with my big balenciaga trainers and then a chocolate little bag and oh i just love this look so much and i just feel like this is such a vibe especially for the price i can't remember off the top of my head how much it was but i know it was ridiculously cheap for a bomber jacket um puffer jacket so i love the tone of it i feel like it's just so so nice for autumn and it look great with gym wear it'll look great with everyday outfits weekend outfits i wouldn't say like a formal night jacket because obviously it's not but um i just love 
this colour. I feel like this is a bit more of a trend piece compared to other things I've shared with you, but don't hate me, I'm including it because I just love it and I'm definitely not returning it because I just have wore it so many times already. Some of the outfits I tried on earlier for you guys were actually these black leggings, which are in size large and then this like ripped black legging. They're like a tight almost. They look really good with all the jumpers and stuff. So these I've included as well. Then keeping with this like sporty, more casual vibe, I have picked this up, which I saw online and I thought, ooh, this could either look really amazing or absolutely awful on my size 12 to 14 body but we are going to give it a go and it is this set so this top i know it's going to be a dream because i love this style of top i wear loads of these for the gym i've got like a fashion nova one that i absolutely love um this one is a bit more of a dressier one it's in like a ribbed fabric um so top i'm excited to try that one i got in a size large and it goes with these leggings these ones i got in a large too but they have this like disco flair. So my friend Lutzia, she is a two piece girl and I've kind of been looking at her and thinking, I like that, I'm gonna try that. So this is inspired by you Lutzia. I, um, I'm gonna give that a go because I do, I'm hoping it looks nice. Do you know where I can imagine wearing this? To the cinema. You know when you go on a cinema date with your partner and you're like, I wanna make an effort so that I look nice for date night, but I wanna be comfortable. Well, this is where I'm imagining this or on a Sunday, you're gonna go and like have a coffee, but you wanna be comfortable, or you're going shopping, or you just, you just wanna look like you've made a bit of effort, but really, you've just put on a comfy co-art. This is what I'm envisioning for this in autumn. Gilet over the top, you know, I love my gilets, or a camel coat and a nice over the shoulder bag. This is what I'm envisioning. So I'm gonna try this on for you as a look now. I am pleasantly surprised about these trousers. As you can see, I'm putting them on here. They fit so nicely. The letdown is the top. Like I definitely need a smaller size. So this is meant to be like really fitted. So when I wear my Fashion Nova one, it's like really snug and it gives me a really nice shape. Whereas this is just shapeless. So I need to size down to the medium. I actually might keep this, you know, and just get the medium top because I do like this, I can imagine wearing this like i said to the cinema or just having like a nice two piece to put on it's feeling very pajama like i'm not gonna lie because it's quite lightweight but just use your imagination that this is like nice and tight and snug um so yeah i actually quite like this, this is what it looks like full set right now well it's too big but i can imagine like a nice crossbody bag puffer on the top i might actually try it on with a gilet but i feel like this could look cool like a little vibe love a zip up so next we have this blazer. I love a double breasted blazer for autumn. My Primark one is my go-to. I've had it for years, I love it so much. And then recently I got a new look one, which I absolutely loved, but I haven't found like a really oversized boyfriend one that's gonna be good for layering. So I saw this online and I thought, let's give this a go. So I'm gonna try this on now. Hopefully it's not too oversized because it does look quite oversized. Um, it's in a size large. Let's try it with one of the looks, okay? And I'm sadly disappointed. I feel like it's just way too oversized and long. Like it's actually like a dress coat, way too long. There's oversized and then there's a bin bag. So yeah, sadly the blazer is not worn. Oh, I totally forgot I've got these. I've literally been looking for my earrings before I started this video and I was like, I can't find them anywhere. I think I've left my bag in my car with the earrings in. And I forgot, I just trapped myself to these little gold plated earrings from H&M. I love gold plated because I feel like it doesn't make your ears hurt. Ah, oh, let's put them in together now because I just am um, so for this. Ah, oh, they are amazing. The perfect size hoop. I think I did this for Zara as well. Honestly, I've got a real shopping problem at the minute, guys. Oh, how much better does that look? I actually, this is like my new little invention, but I love a stud and I love a hoop. So at the minute I'm doing a hoop and a stud together. Do we like the hoop and the stud together? Is it a vibe or am I doing a Gretchen and I'm trying to make something happen that's definitely not happening? Let me know in the comments if that's what you think to my little diamond and hoop trend. Then while we are still thinking about the blazer, I picked this coat up in a size 14. Camel coat, love a camel coat. I have about 15. I need to really 
get rid of some of my coats before the season starts but i just wanted to try a new coat for you guys i'm a bit worried that the 14 is actually gonna be too big because it looks like a lot of fabric there but it is kind of what you want when you are doing a lot of layering with jumpers and stuff so the coat i love honestly the quality wow yes it, the only thing is it's quite long so when I so when I actually close it and have it fastened, there's only like a small amount of my ankle out. Um, but then when it gets cold, you'll actually be so going with that. I remember when I was in New York and like having a coat that was nearly to the ground was the best thing ever because of the wind and yeah, having like a nice dress coat like this to layer will be so nice. I do have a very similar one from River Island that I get asked about all the time. So this one is a really good addition. Share the link for if you wanted to shop. And then I just put my crossbody bag over the top, laid it with a jumper underneath, leggings and boots. Just this is a vibe. Love this easy but classy throw an outfit. And this coat really makes the outfit all work together. Excited to try that. It's probably item like 26 or something. I can't remember how many we're on right now. It is crazy. But this dress, I forgot that I added it to my basket because I just really liked, like, I don't know about you guys, but it's really nice to sometimes have an emergency black dress. And this one really does tick all the boxes. So if you're feeling like, oh my God, I can't bother to fake tan, but I need to make the effort and look presentable, either at work or for a night out or just to look nice and smart in a certain outfit, then this dress does tick the box because it's long sleeved, high neck, so all you have to tie is literally or put some powder on. And then it has this bottom part of the dress, which is slightly ruched. So it's gonna be flattering on the tummy area. It's gonna work with tights and it's also gonna work with colors like gray, camel, layering, nice crossbody bag, even through the daytime with chunky boots and again, a nice coat and a crossbody bag. It's gonna work in loads of different ways. So when I saw this, I thought, you're gonna be a really good black dress to have in my wardrobe. Whether it's a funeral, whether it's a work event, or whether it's just I need something that's going to make me feel like a human because I'm so pale. This is hopefully that dress. So I'm going to try that on for you now in different ways. So it has potential, but it's just so short. Like, it fits nice. The only thing I don't like is that this is actually like a V. I wish it was a circle. And then the ruching is so nice. So again, it looks really good with tights. But... It's literally so short, it's literally just covering my ass. Which, you know, you might want. And if I get the XL, I feel like it'll just not have the same fit. It's meant to be like a bodycon. It's not gonna make it any longer. But again, I don't hate it. It's one of those really, isn't it? I think it looks quite expensive as well and classy. Cause like all of the direct material, it's not just your standard bodycon dress. But for me personally, I just think it's so short and I'm five foot two. So if you're any <laughs> taller than me, I feel like you're gonna struggle because it's just so short. Like I can literally feel it's riding up. It is nice, it is nice, but it's too short. And then this last item, I don't know whether I'm having a crisis because I'm turning 33 in a few months, but I feel like I'm reliving my 2000s with this skirt. I mean, I don't know who I think I am wearing a micro mini pleated skirt. I literally used to have one of these from, I think it was Ted Baker and it was pink. And I used to wear it with like turquoise and pink boob tube top to go clubbing before I could actually go clubbing with my illegal fake ID. Um, and I used to love these and I still do. And in my mind, I'm envisioning a black Helena bodysuit from your last style with this black tights, chunky boots, and then a really long brown dress coat, which I've got as well. And I can just imagine that being such a vibe. So I'm gonna try it. Do we think this is gonna look good or not? Please vote below. <laughs> wow. So after trying that dress on and it was so short, I thought I'm just gonna go for the skirt. I'm not even gonna put it as an outfit. And look how short that is, literally. <laughs> I have. 
I mean, like I said, back in the day, this would have been perfect for me, but 33 years old nearly, I can't be rocking this, even with tights, so it's a no. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I'd love doing a H&M haul. Lashes was such a hit with you guys, so I hope this one's just as good for you. Um, and like I said, I have loads of content coming up, so if you haven't already, please it would mean the world to me if you subscribed. We are so close to hitting my goal, and it means the absolute world to me that you watch my videos and comment down below. I love to engage with you guys in anything that you need. If I haven't linked anything that you've seen in today's video and you want the link for it, let me know in the comments down below. I will definitely get back to you about that. And also, thank you so much for supporting me on any of my channels, if you are from TikTok or Instagram. It means so much to me. Stick around because Zara haul is coming up very soon. I think that one is coming next Sunday. And also, I have done a new look haul for you that is coming midweek. So make sure you ring that bell, subscribe, and I will see you super soon. Thanks. Bye.